Greetings and welcome to another edition of Science Sunday here in our capital city with Eva Ryle at the Connecticut Science Center. Good morning. Good morning. So uh, a little mind ball action for today, huh? <laughs> yeah, I thought we would uh, play a game using just our brainwaves. All right, so we should point out that this uh, was on an exhibit floor for mm -hmm. a long time, very popular. Yes. But you guys here at the Science Center always like to evolve, keep things fresh and new. Mm -hmm. um, so recently your teen program kind of brought this back to life. Yeah, they resurrected it a little bit. Um, like you said, this is one people might remember, um, but they started bringing it out as kind of more of a drop-in public program. Okay. Um, so if you'd like to play a little game of mind ball with me. Sure. We are gonna start off by putting on these very cute headbands. <laughs> um, you'll notice they have these little kind of metal sensors there. Mm -hmm. So those are gonna rest right on your forehead. Forehead, okay. Um, and this allows this machine to actually read uh, the electrical impulses in our brains. So this is going to go to the middle. Um, and now the goal is to actually relax hmm. <laughs> to win. And we're going to actually try to push that ball using just our brain waves. Is there a countdown? When does it start? Oh, it's going. Oh, it's going. Oh, it's going. I'm not very good at relaxing. So you're winning right now. You're more relaxed than I am since the ball's heading on my way. Okay. <laughs> yeah. And Think if you look at the screen too, you'll see our um, brain waves there being, being red. Oh, we're pretty evenly matched. Hmm. <laughs> um, and so while we're while we're playing this, uh, you know, there's really cool applications to this kind of technology. I'm, I feel like I'm focusing way too hard. I gotta relax. I, but you're winning, <laughs> so it's okay. <laughs> um, but things like prosthetics, right? Mm -hmm. um, the idea is if you could read the electrical impulses in your brain, where you know you might be sending a signal to maybe like close a hand. Um, and if someone might be missing an arm, if we can read those electrical impulses, we can then translate them to mechanical motion. So you could create a prosthetic that could then move based on just the electrical impulses of your brain. So this is like very basic, but has yeah. big time real world uh, um, uh, application. Absolutely, and you know, it could be over distance too. So you, know, you could be, oh, mm. oh. Uh -huh. <laughs> actually you won. <laughs> Wait, what? Yeah, player two. You oh. dragged it closer to you. All right. <laughs> well, fine then. You were more relaxed. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, lots of applications, um, but also really fun. Absolutely. Good stuff. So uh, science is everywhere, yeah. always. Um, speaking of, of uh, the Science Center, of course, um, you guys have Under the Canopy, yes. which is um, your traveling exhibition space. It takes up an entire floor, and mm -hmm. it's been here for a while. Yeah, but unfortunately, all good things come to an end. Um, it is closing soon. Okay. So we'll be saying goodbye to Romeo, our sloth, and the rest of his uh, rainforest friends. And he's got many. So, I mean, if you've yet to check it out, this is a good time to come visit. Yes, definitely come check it out before before they head off on their next adventure. <laughs> <laughs> their next stop on their tour. Yeah. <laughs> all right, Eva, thank you so much. And, of course, uh, we'll see you for another edition of Science Sunday next weekend.